Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you three super unique gift wrapping ideas with the help of Rocky Mountain Soap Company. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much again for stopping in to say hi and to see what DIYs I'm up to this week. I am personally so excited for the holiday season coming up, for Christmas, for gift giving, and I cannot wait to give some beautiful gifts to my family and friends. So today I wanted to show you some really cool and unique ideas on how you can wrap a gift for your family and friends this season. I'm teaming up with Rocky Mountain Soap Company, so I'm going to be using this beautiful vanilla candy cane gift set. So let me show you three fun ways you could wrap up a gift set like this. Let's get started. Rocky Mountain Soap Company is based out of Canmore, Alberta in the Rocky Mountains, my home province, my mountains. They make all of their products with simple, natural ingredients, no toxins, and this vanilla candy cane scent is absolutely delicious. So let me show you what you find inside this gift box. There is the vanilla candy cane bar soap, and if you know me, I love everything vanilla. I like vanilla lattes, I like vanilla in my baking, so I absolutely adore this scent. There's the vanilla candy cane body wash as well as the vanilla candy cane lip butter, which is so nice, vanilla candy cane bath salt, and then finally some vanilla candy cane body butter. So I think this would make a really fabulous gift for pretty much anyone in your life, and it's a limited edition scent, and I will leave a link to it in the description box below. So the first idea, since this box is so beautiful, is just to make a simple bow. So just find some wired ribbon, wrap it around the box, and then just tape the ends like this. Now I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful full bow. So just get the wired ribbon and just loop it back and forth like this, pinching it in the middle with your hands, and leave a little bit of length at the beginning and the end. And then grab a scissors, trim it off, and use some pipe cleaner just to twist that center nice and tight. Leave the pipe cleaner long so that you can attach the bow later. Fluff up all of those loops. And then you can fold the ends in half vertically like this and cut them at an angle to make a nice finished bottom of your bow. You can pop that bow onto your box with the pipe cleaners. And I love that this box, the art on it is hand painted by some Albertan artists. So it's so beautiful. I like to see that peeking beneath my bow. And I think this is just a really simple way to wrap a gift that already comes in a beautiful box. I've added a bit of faux greenery to it and also a ribbon with a gift tag, you can find these gift tags. They're free printable. I'll leave a link to them in the description box below. Second thing you can do is grab a larger box, put some tissue paper in the bottom, put all of your product inside, and then cover that up with some more tissue paper. Close that box up and then grab a blanket scarf. This one I handmade. I'll leave a link to make it in the description box below. You can also buy one. Pop your box over the blanket. I folded my blanket in quarters and then just gather your blanket scarf up and over the box, gathering it as you go. Close that up with a pipe cleaner and twist it so it is nice and firm over the box. And then just kind of fluff up the top of that blanket scarf so it kind of looks like a little flower on top. This is a really cool way to give somebody a scarf as well as some beautiful um, spa gifts inside. And then I just finish off this gift with a ribbon wrapped around the top. And then again, I'm going to use another handmade gift tag. You can find the link in the description box below. Tie up the ribbon in a nice bow. And you have another beautifully wrapped gift that's super unique. Finally, let me show you how to make the perfect gift basket. Pop some tissue paper into a basket or a tin. I'm adding some, a couple things, so some tea in a jar, a mug that matches all the rest of my stuff, a body scrubby, and the rest of my products. So I think one of the tricks to making a beautiful gift basket is to color coordinate everything. So this product is turquoise and red, so I'm using turquoise and red accessories to make it look really nice and professional. I'm popping in some more faux greens to give it that Christmassy holiday look. And that's how it looks on the outside. And then finally, I'm finishing it off by tying some ribbon around the bottom. I'm using that same gingham wired ribbon and just tying a really simple bow in the front here. I use some scotch tape to attach the ribbon to my tin so that it doesn't fall down. I'm kind of hiding it behind the bow here. And then just fluff up that bow, clip the bottoms. 
I love wired ribbon because you can kind of bend it to how you want. And I'm add adding another handmade gift tag with a ribbon onto the side of my gift basket. Now you could cover the whole gift basket with some cellophane wrap or just leave it open as is. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you got some inspiration on how to wrap your own gifts for your family and friends this holiday season. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that for more DIY ideas. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all again next week. Bye.